Do your YouTube video scripts suck? Are you struggling to get ChatGPT to generate quality scripts? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you three ways I use ChatGPT to create scripts for my faceless YouTube videos. Hi there, Gareth of Channel Profits here. Now, it's worth mentioning that if you can afford it, I would still hire a human to write your video scripts, as AI can still be a little repetitive and it requires constant fact checking. But if that isn't an option for your budget, then these scripts are still a great starting point and ones that I currently use when growing new channels. I'm going to be using ChatGPT4 for this video as I find the AI is a little bit more creative, but you can still use the free version. So the three prompts I'm going to show you are as follows. Number one, the lazy script, where we get ChatGPT to do most of the work for us. Number two, the similar script, where we get ChatGPT to make something similar to our competitors' videos. And number three, the guided script, where we use a workflow in ChatGPT to build out our video script and stages. These three variations will give you high quality scripts to work from and dramatically shave off the editing time required to generate good copy. For the sake of this video, we'll be taking the title of a competitor's video that is doing well. However, this is not what I recommend you do for growing your channel. If you want to know how to plan and research your videos for viral growth, then check out the links in the video description for full step-by-step -step training afterwards. With that said, let's jump into it. So once inside your competitor's channel, you're going to want to go into their videos and select popular. Now, as I said, alone, I don't recommend just doing this strategy. There is more to it to get your channel to grow and go viral. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to select the most popular video that they have. So on this channel, it has 92 million views and it's 13 tips on how to survive a wild animal attack. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that and copy that title. And we're just going to use this as an idea or a reference for something that is working for this channel and that will hopefully work for us. But we can probably assume that many people have done the same already and that chances are this video has been copied so many times. But what we're going to do is then come across to ChatGPT. And what we're going to do is select ChatGPT4 if you have it. Otherwise, you will most likely be on ChatGPT 3.5, which will still be fine. I just prefer ChatGPT4 as it's a little bit more creative. So once selected, come down and I'm going to get it to give me some title ideas for us to work from for our video. So I'm going to type, give me 10 YouTube video ideas from the following. And then I'm just going to paste the 13 tips on how to survive wild animal attacks and then go enter. Okay, and then you can see that it has now generated 10 video ideas from that competitor's video. So we have essential survival skills, how to react to the most common wild animal attacks, and it has a small description that we can then work from. We have bear encounters, we have snake safety 101, mountain lions, outsmarting the apex predator, all about alligators and crocodiles, surviving a wolf or coyote attack, moose encounters, top wilderness first aid skills. Now I want something a bit more general because the bright side one that we actually had was tips on how to survive wild animal attacks. So this one is probably the most relevant to that. So I want to do something similar. So essential survival skills, how to react to the most common animal attacks. Okay, so let's go with this one. So we're going to take this this is going to be our video idea. So I'm going to take that whole thing and I'm going to copy that. And then we're going to come across to our chat GPT prompts and we're going to be starting with the lazy option. And inside the lazy option, I just want to paste the video idea here. So what I'm going to do is everything I just got, I'm going to now paste here. So here's what we've got for the lazy option. Write an engaging YouTube video script for the following. Essential survival skills, how to react to the most common wild animal attacks. And then we've got the description, which is a comprehensive guide to dealing with common wild animal attacks from bears to sharks. I've then said, use storytelling to bring it together in an engaging way. Start with a question instead of a standard intro. I like to do this because sometimes it says, Hi, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be doing this. It's very standard and boring. So I like to get ChatGPT to try and be a bit more creative 
and to start using stories. But you could just leave it if you're not too worried about the intro and just see what it actually generates. But I like to say use storytelling to bring it together in an engaging way. Start with a question instead of the standard intro, creating a hook and building out context before jumping into the main content. End the script sharply using, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time. I like to end my YouTube video scripts quite abruptly because basically that's going to make my watch time longer. If you do too much fluff at the end, too much of a long conclusion, people will know it's the end of the video and they will leave, which will affect your overall watch time. So when you're doing faceless videos or videos in general, you really want to be ending it as quickly and as sharply as possible while telling people what to do next, be it subscribe, watching another video or clicking off towards your website. So now that we have this, we can copy our lazy prompt and come back across to ChatGPT. Then inside ChatGPT, we're going to go new chat, select ChatGPT4 again, and then we're going to paste our prompt here. Okay, and here we have it. We now have our complete script auto-generated the lazy way inside ChatGPT. Now, I always recommend checking all of your scripts on Copyscape, but I generally find that if it's been done in ChatGPT and it's original, then there isn't really any copyright issues. And if there is, it's literally just the odd word. But I still recommend double checking your scripts to make sure that they're going to be original. But as we can see, we've got the hook. Remember, we were starting with a question. Have you ever wondered what you'd do if you, if you suddenly found yourself face to face with a wild animal? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Well, today's your lucky day, as we're about to embark on a thrilling journey through the wild, learning essential survival skills to react to the most common wild animal attacks. Are you ready? So let's dive in. Then we have the context. Now, before we venture into the wild, it's important to remember that wild animals are, well, wild. They're unpredictable, and the best way to avoid an encounter is to be aware of your surroundings and respect their habitat. But sometimes, despite our best efforts, we might come across a potentially dangerous situation. That's when these life-saving tips can come in handy. Okay, so we have a good hook and a good little bit of context for the script itself. And then we obviously go down into bear attacks, what you should do, um, be it a black bear, you stand your ground. If it's a big grizzly, then you need to run. You've got shark attacks, we've got snake bites, what to do in case you are bitten with the venom. We then have a mountain lion encounter, what to do if you're jogging, running. We've obviously seen video clips that you could potentially use in your video of joggers and hikers being chased. We then have alligators and crocodile attacks. And then we have a very brief closing out section. That is, now you're armed with these essential survival skills, you can venture into the wild with confidence, knowing that you are prepared for whatever mother nature throws your way. Just remember, it's always best to avoid these encounters in the first place, so stay alert and respect the animal's space. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time. So I would actually be happy to use this in one of my videos. There's very little that I would potentially change. The next script we're going to use is the similar script. Now, the similar script is basically where we're going to be using a competitor's video script and getting ChatGPT to work from that. Now, ChatGPT can take a certain amount of content, especially if you're using ChatGPT4, to analyze that content and then create something similar and original from it. So the next one we have is rewrite this YouTube video script, making it original and about five minutes long. You can obviously change the time to anything you want. And you could have also put the timing in the previous script if you wanted to make sure ChatGPT was writing a script that was, say, over eight minutes if you wanted to get more ads in there. But I generally like to have shorter video scripts when I'm building out a new channel as it's easier to create more content. So for this one, we've got rewrite this YouTube video script, making it original, which is important, and about five minutes long. Use storytelling to bring it together in an engaging way. Start with a question instead of a standard intro, creating a hook and building out context before jumping into the main content. End the video script using, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time. So you can see it's quite similar, but we're telling it to use story and everything else rather than the telling it to generate it from a title. We're going to be getting it to generate it from a script. So what we want to do is take this, copy it, come back across to ChatGPT, go new chat, ChatGPT4, paste it here. 
And then we want to get the script from the video itself. And we open up this video. We then want to come to the three dots here and go show transcript. And then go toggle timestamps. And then we want to highlight it and scroll all the way down until you've copied their entire transcript. Now, obviously, we don't want to rip anybody off. We want to have this completely reworded. So you will want to double check to make sure ChatGPT has made it original. So back in ChatGPT, we now paste the sample script here and then go enter. Now, if your script stops generating for any reason, just as it has here, it seems to have finished early. Just type in continue and it will start to type from where it was. Now, as you can see, we've got our script completely generated now, and it's good. It's very similar still to this, which is kind of what we wanted, but it has made it original, which is key to success here. So if you just wanted a similar video that has been reworded and recreated, then this is the best way to go about it. The third and final way we can generate our scripts is the guided method. Now, the guided method is where we build out our script step by step. This is a great way to build out more detail in different sections, as sometimes when you get it to either just copy and make something similar, or you go with the lazy approach, often it won't build out paragraphs in the detail that you want. So it is easier and better to use ChatGPT in an order flow where you're building out the different sections of the script itself. So if we look at this here, we've got give me an outline. We've got this broken down basically into a number of different prompts within. So we're going to do a number of different prompts for one script. So the first is going to be, give me an outline for a YouTube video script called, and we have the name. We then have, write me a great hook and introduction for this YouTube video script. Make sure to briefly talk about the following. We're going to then use information from there. And then we have different prompts that we're going to be going through to get it co to continue writing different paragraphs. So continue the script. Give me a few paragraphs to discuss the following. Continue the script from the last point and give me a paragraph to discuss the following. And then conclude the script from the last point. Give me a paragraph mentioning the following and then end with again. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time or whatever it is that you want to end on. It could be thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this or anything else. So let's go through with the option here. So we've got essential skills to survive an animal attack. So let's just highlight that. And we'll just pop that here. And then we're going to copy this. And we're going to go back into chat GPT and go new chat. ChatGPT4, paste that here, enter. Okay, so there we have it. We have our outline for our video titled Essential Survival Skills, How to React to the Most Common Wild Animal Attacks. Now, the benefit of doing it this way is that we have full control over each section. So if we didn't like something that it's mentioned here or we wanted to add additional information, we can enter that as we go through the different prompts. So the first prompt we're going to want to do is we're now going to want it to write a great hook and introduction for this script, making sure to briefly talk about the following. So if we paste that here and then we come up to our introduction section and we see, does this sound like exactly what we want in our introduction? If it does, just copy everything and then come down and paste it here. But you could change some of these to say, okay, I want you to mention something else or go into details of something else here. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna stick to this here and see what we get. Okay, so there we have it. We have a great intro with a hook. And just briefly looking through this, I would probably say this is the best one yet out of the three. We've got the hook, which is, you're out in the wilderness, enjoying the beauty of nature when suddenly you come face to face with a wild animal. Your heart races and adrenaline pumps through your veins. Do you know how to react in order to survive? And then we go, welcome back to our channel. So you could change the name to your channel where we bring you the most essential survival skills for the great outdoors. In today's video, we're tackling a crucial topic, wild animal attacks, while the chances of encountering these creatures might be slim, it's crucial to be armed with the right knowledge and preparedness to react appropriately and increase your chances of survival. 
We'll be diving deep into how to handle encounters for some of the most common wild animals you might come across, such as bears, mountain lions, wolves, and venomous snakes. So sit tight, take notes, and let's get ready to learn some life-saving tips that could make all the difference in a wild animal encounter. So I think that's, that's pretty good. It's really, really good. I'm happy with that. So next, we want to come across and get the next prompt. We paste that there and then come up to the next point. Now, you don't have to include all of these. Obviously, you could go through and say, I actually just want to have some of these animals, but not all of them. Or maybe you want to have more. So you could ask it to generate more for different animals, or you could just go in and take the ones that you actually want. Now, I really like this bear one, and I like all of the different things it's going to go on about. So I think this would be a good one. So I'll copy that, add it here. I'm not going to change anything, but again, you could. Okay, so we can see we've got a great, massive, big section for bear encounters alone, which I absolutely love. I think this is great. If you remember when we did the similar video, it was just a tiny section on bears, and it was more listing out lots of different dangerous animals. The first video idea, the first script we were creating with the lazy method, also generated some good bear encounters information. But by going section through section here and outlining everything that we want in it, we get a real large part that we can use for our video script. And as you can see, it's great. It's got going on about bear encounters, the difference between bears, general bear safety tips, special bears for black bears, for grizzly bears, things to do, things not to do. This is great information and I would want to use all of this in my video. And what we would do next is just continue on through, going with the next one, continue with the script from the last point, give me a few paragraphs to discuss the following. And again, we just keep going through, selecting the different sections that we want and making any changes for the following prompt. But now we want to finish the script and we want to have the end conclusion. So let's go for conclude the video script. So we will copy that. And then we want to come back up to the conclusion sections here and see if this, this is actually what you wanted. Recap the survival skills. Maybe you don't want to recap. Maybe you just want to remind viewers that the, it's better to be prevention and then jump straight into exiting. Again, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to copy that. So there we have it. It's in summary, we've covered essential survival skills. You see, I, I, I do like this, but I don't feel the need and this is where ChatGPT loves, loves, loves to be repetitive within YouTube scripts. And it's something that I think you need to be really aware of. It's very easy to get too trusting of ChatGPT and just to go, oh, that sounds great. I'm just going to use it. But you don't want to be too repetitive. You'll lose viewers if a script is too repetitive all of the time. So people would leave if you started mentioning the things they've already watched in my opinion, which could be black bears, grizzly bears, how to react to absolutely every situation. So we could just shorten this to be that there you have it key survival tips for surviving an animal encounter remember the best thing you can do is stay vigilant and try to avoid these animals altogether with that said thanks for watching and until next time stay safe and keep exploring see that would be a better shorter thing to end after the last final point in my opinion to make sure your script is better so there you have it, three great ChatGPT prompts to help you create better YouTube video scripts for your faceless YouTube automation channels. With that said, if you would like full step-by-step -step training on creating profitable YouTube channels, then check out the links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and until next time.